Hi everyone, it's Cindy with Twisted Truths, and how you guys all doing? This video is just a few clips of Melanie and Ian Pawlowski's interview that they put out last week. If you guys notice, all of a sudden there's a media blitz by Lori Vallow's family. I guess Melanie could say it's another coincidence not. So, she claims that Lori's a great mom, and the kids respect her, and the kids love her, and she has to keep them safe. But let me ask you this, Melanie. How safe are your kids if your ass is sitting in jail? Huh? Who's gonna keep them the safest? You are. So, I don't buy that. Also, she said, people are not asking the right question. That all these deaths, like Tammy Daybell, her uncle, Charles Vallow, etc., are old news. That's exactly what she said. And she said, no one is asking Lori Vallow the right question, such as why she is hiding the kids. Maybe she should have asked herself why Ian looks totally disinterested. Why like Ian wore a wire. Was it because he wanted to help you find the kids? Or also the added benefit of getting his domestic violence charges dropped. Think about it. So everyone saying, poor Ian, poor Ian, I think that's totally wrong. So I don't feel bad for Ian Pulowski or Melanie Pulowski, Lori Vallow, or anybody. I feel bad and afraid for JJ and Tylee. That's it. You know, I, and I was watching closely. I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of sitting inside for the FBI trying to figure out what's going on to the best of my ability. I'm not, I'm not a professional investigator, but I'm listening and I'm looking and I'm, and I'm watching and, and uh, you know, I don't see anything. It is, is um, when I first met Melanie, there was just, there were things that she was able to understand about the struggles that I had gone through with my divorce and in my life within, you know, over the past, you know, eight months, nine months. And there were things I w was able to understand about her. We felt like we had a lot in common and that we had a lot of the same thought processes and attitudes about things. And um, later that um, month, I met Ian and things kind of took off and got more exciting. <laughs> Lori's my aunt and I've been close with her ever since I was little. Um, she's somebody I look up to and admire and she's uh, she's drama-free and fun, outgoing, very generous. And she attracts others just with her ability to just um, make light of heavy situations. And a lot of this story is based on speculation and rumors. We're not seeing the full, um, the full extent of everything involved in this case. It's a very complicated case, and there's many questions. And Ian and I, our goal is to just share what we do know. While Lori was moving, they were scared and they felt they needed to be somewhere safe. And um, Lori's, you know, been in situations before where she needed to protect her kids. And it's frustrating as a mother doing everything you can to protect your kids. I've always seen that example um, with Lori. She, people speaking most right now and the loudest in the media are the ones that have the most to hide.